Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our lesson for third quarter, week three, energy from volcanoes. What are some useful products made from volcanic materials? Concrete blocks may be formed from pumice and volcanic ash from volcanoes. Crush and ground pumice are also used for loose fill insulation, filter aids, poultry litter, soil conditioner, sweeping compound, insecticide, carrier, and blocked up highway dressing. What materials do volcanoes release? Volcanoes can release volcanic gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and halides. What benefits can we get from volcanoes? Volcanoes provide a good environment for the formation of new habitats for animals, plants, and insects. Areas with high volcanic activity also have some of the world's most fertile farmlands due to the release of plant nutrients such as potassium and phosphorus. Volcanic lava and ash are rich in minerals that provide valuable nutrients for the soil. The fertile land near volcanic areas is good for fruits and vegetables, which results in higher crop yield for farmers. Volcanoes attract tourists who enjoy the dramatic scenery that they produce. Ecotourism generates jobs and brings in money, for a vibrant and strong local economy. Geothermal energy can be harnessed from volcanic areas which can be used to heat buildings or be converted into electricity. Geothermal energy can be generated in areas where magma lies close to the surface. This is good for increasing renewable energy use. Sulfur, Copper and gold are raw materials produced from volcanic activity. Rising magma brings valuable minerals to the surface, creating mining opportunities. Minerals are contained in lava, such as diamond, that can be mined to make money. Sulfur gas combines with water, creating droplets that stays in the atmosphere for years. The cooling effect can last 4 months to years depending on the characteristics of the eruption. Volcanic eruptions can create new land forms. A new land can emerge from lava poured into and beneath the ocean and becomes a new habitat. Hawaiian islands are formed this way. Volcanoes have done wonderful things for the earth. They help cool off the earth by removing heat from its interior. Volcanic emissions have produced that atmosphere and the water of the ocean. Geothermal energy Geothermal energy can be harnessed from volcanoes. It is an almost limitless source of power. However, it is practical only where the source of heat is close to the earth's surface. The magma underneath volcanoes holds tremendous thermal energy. The heat from the magma can be used to heat water and produce steam in power plants on the surface. The steam is pressurized and then spins a generator that makes electricity. Magma near the earth's surface heats the surrounding rock, which then heats underground water to form geothermal reservoirs. The geothermal wells in reservoir bring a mixture of steam and hot water to the surface. After the water impurities are removed from the steam, it is piped into turbine generators to produce electricity. Most of the hot water is used for heating buildings. Geothermal energy can be harnessed from four different types of geologic formations. Hydrothermal reservoirs have been the most common source of geothermal energy production worldwide. 
It contains hot water, trap and fractured or porous rock formation by a layer of impermeable rock on top. Hydrothermal fluids may be used directly to heat buildings, greenhouses, and swimming pools or produce steam for electrical power generation. Geopressurized resources are from more formations where moderately high temperature brines are trapped in a permeable layer of rock under high pressures. These brines are found deeper underground than hydrothermal fluids and have high concentration of salt, minerals, and dissolved methane gas. Hot dry rock reservoirs are generally hot impermeable rocks at depths shallow enough to be accessible. To extract heat from such formations, the rock must be fractured and a fluid circulation system developed known as enhanced geothermal system. The water is then heated by way of conduction as it passes through the fracture in the rock, becoming a hydrothermal fluid. Magma, molten rock, is the largest global geothermal resource and is found in a depth of 3 to 10 km. Its great depth and high temperature make the resource difficult to access and harness. These are all sources of geothermal energy that directly generate heat or their steam can be used to generate electricity. Most of the Earth's geothermal energy remains in the mantle. This can be accessed by drilling and enhanced with injected water to create steam. Geothermal energy is produced by geothermal power plants and geothermal heat pumps. At present, geothermal energy is also used to directly heat individual buildings and to heat multiple buildings with strict heating systems. Hot water near the Earth's surface is piped into buildings for heat. Electricity is then generated. Advantages and disadvantages of geothermal energy. The utilization of geothermal energy can be of an advantage or a disadvantage. Here are some benefits of using geothermal energy in producing electricity from the stored heat at the Earth's crust. Eco-friendly. The proper harnessing of this energy is using geothermal power plants and heat pumps do not produce by products that are harmful to the environment. Geothermal thermal power plants do not burn fuels, helping conserve non-renewable fossil fuels. High reliability. Geothermal power plants are designed to operate 24 hours throughout the year. There is no interruption of power generation since the source is naturally available and abundant. Its basic operation is not affected or not totally altered by a change in weather or natural disasters. Flexibility. Modification in the geothermal power plant is possible to allow additional units to be installed depending on the amount of needed electrical energy in an area. Minimum land space. Building geothermal plants require a smaller land area per megawatt compared to other types of power plants. They do not require damming of rivers forest denudation, no mine shops, tunnels, and open pits. Cost effective. Geothermal energy can be extracted locally. This reduces the import of fuel for geothermal power plant operations and brings economic benefits to the region. Help developing countries grow, uplifting the way of living of a developing country through the distribution of electricity and technological advances comes with the low financial requirements needed to operate a geothermal power plant. This allows the extension of projects related 
the technology the most developing country. There are also several disadvantages of geothermal energy. Limited accessibility. Men cannot build a geothermal power plant anywhere to harness energy. Availability of naturally occurring vents is necessary for better accessibility. A potential artificial vent requires deep drilling in the ground. Most geothermal sites are far from markets or cities where it is needed to be consumed. Financial Constraint The capital and expenditure for the installation and operation of geothermal power plant is quite high. And there is no guarantee that the energy to be harnessed could meet the cost. Possible pollution. Drilling on the Earth's crust may release toxic gases and minerals which could pose harm to the environment. Thank you for listening and stay safe everyone.